Hi, my name's Kathy Millett, and this week we're looking at how to add some froth to your waterfalls. Looking at the real world, it's easy enough to find examples of that lovely white froth that you get at the bottom of waterfalls. To be honest, no matter the colour of your water, the froth itself, that bubbling air filled water normally always looks white so this is a quick easy method and hopefully it will give you results that look as good as these real photos. So froth, I want to have a really nice bottom to this weir waterfall that I've got here. I want it to be frothy, I want it to feel like there's a bit of depth and I want it to look really real. So what do I use? Well, my favourite froth is done with a mixture of micro balloons. These are from Deluxe Materials, and I, I do love Deluxe Materials stuff. It's always great, always good quality. So micro balloons, and then they come out like this. They're sort of very, very fine powder, and you can see it, the way it sticks to the side of this, how fine it is. So I also like to add in a little bit of this rocket powder, which actually, um, which is hard to describe. These are like little glassy balls and they have this amazing glitter and texture. So I think that works incredibly well and I think these would look great in snow actually. In fact if I do this it looks just like it's snowing on them. Um... Yeah it's like hailing onto snow, you see that drip. So there we go. Um, it needs a bit of white paint, not too much because um, you've already put some things in there but a drop or two of white paint and then final thing in my concoction is of course gloss medium. Here we go. This is an artist acrylic. This one's just from Hobbycraft, which is a local hobby store. And I will say that I really like it. This one, it dries quite quickly and quite clear. So some splurge of that in. And I think because I am, I'm going to put a few more rocket ones in because these just are amazing. Um, they make a great icy sparkle as well. In fact, they do sell icy sparkles, this company, and I think they're probably not dissimilar. So these ones are filler powder for use with cyano. So here we go. I'm just going to mix it all up. And one of the problems is everything looks white now, and some of it will dry clear. So it's very hard to tell what the finished product is going to be like from this. So I'm just going to dab it on. And as you can imagine, you need to build it up. And you can see, if you look at this, you can see the bubbles in it from the um, cyano rocket powder. And I'm just using a normal brush um, because I want that kind of splodgy feel. And there we go. So now you need to um, start to put it into the rest of your um, river. And make sure you have a look at some prototype photos of how that works. Bear in mind, this has got some white paint in, so there will be some, some colour staying after. Not a huge amount, but some. Right, and now I've got all that done, I'm just going to build up this end with my spare. This lovely frothy meringue and then my effluent pipe, which is a bit out of keeping. But anyway. Okay, so I'm just dabbling now. I probably could stop if I wanted, but... There we go. There we go. If it is a little bit too frothy and white, I mean, water does look white when it's going over a weir um, and landing at the bottom, even if it is a very dark, muddy water, just because the way it is, then I could always come back and just put a light wash to settle into the crevices and the gaps of the slightly dark colour. And I'll see what it looks like at the end. So my froth is set up overnight and it just looks a bit flat, which is often the case. Um, it's got a bit of white in there, it's got quite a lot of sparkle and I just want to go over it with a little bit of um, gloss medium just to give it that shine that I do think it should have. Um, water is at the end of the day shiny and paint that we put in was slightly matte so this will then take a couple of minutes. Here we go and it gives us a chance just to put a bit of a final texture on it. I don't want anything too thick, it'll take too long to dry. No. Otherwise, this just looks a bit, a bit turgid, a bit mm. This gloss coat makes all the difference. So 
Bear in mind that it is a gloss medium, so you can use it to add waves if you think any are missing. Build up some areas that you perhaps weren't so high of, happy about. Okay, I'm uh, looking for any last minute gaps and then leave this overnight again. Water does take a bit of time to get good. So this is the final result. I like it, I like the froth. I think it adds quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's quite bright and white. You might want to just tone it down a bit, but I like it. So let me know what you think. So here's the final result, a lovely frothy foamy waterfall base. I think it looks quite real. You can obviously build it up to be even bigger if you want, if it's been a, a larger drop. And I didn't go back and add any extra color of the water in in the end, because I felt it looked um, just in keeping as it was. But you can clearly see the bubbles that those um, micro balloons and the, the little um, rocket powder fillers that the icy sparkles, you can see the bubbles that they put in there, which gives it this real texture like you see in reality. This week, the mini Cathy's have a rather watery adventure. Of course, you know why the waterfall's so good, don't you? All that lovely spray. I tipped it to the bubble bath. Yes, I did. Look, it's all frothy. Talking of bubble baths, did we tell you about the time we went for a sail on the rubber duck? Oh, that was fun. Aren't you glad I brought you guys on this? this isn't, isn't it awesome? Oh, yeah. 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 I do love exploring new things. Yeah. Yeah. I admit mean, it was a bit hard getting in to go Kathy down the back to here. Yeah, still not sure we're getting out yet, yeah, but yeah, this is fun this while it lasts. Isn't it great? Wow, it's never done. Like a boat. Yeah. 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 We'll get to boat because I don't want to go on a real river. Ooh, too much current. We could end up in the snow's way. But this is fun. Race with a date. Yay. This is great. <sighs> Whose idea was it to go on the rubber duck? And how are we going to get back? We're in the middle. I can't even reach the water. Look, I can't. So how are we going to get back? And it's a long way up that bath. Oh, somebody have a good idea and bring a paddle or something. Wow. Well, I don't really want Cathy finding us. Big scale Cathy, I mean full scale Cathy. Because she gets a bit mad when we do things like run out of bath just to go in a rubber duck. And um, yeah, so shh, don't tell her. She said, She'd be along about lunchtime. <gasps> Twelve! Gone! She'll be here any minute! Guys, quick! We need to get out! Will the mini Cathy's escape from the bathtub? Tune in next week to find out. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. If you have, subscribe to me on YouTube or on my website, kathymillett.co.uk. Alternatively, like me on Facebook, Kathy Millett Modelling. See you next week. <laughs>